This video will explain how to disassemble, reassemble, and troubleshoot easily serviceable parts for the Hydrocell HG25, as well as the hydraulic end or oil reservoir. Please note, do not disassemble the hydraulic end unless you are a skilled mechanic. For assistance, refer to the website www.hydra-cell.com. All of our most current manuals are available online, as well as other new information about Hydrocell pumps and accessories. You may also contact Warner Engineering at 612-332-5681, www.warnereng.com, www.warnerint.com for European customers, or the distributor in your area. To help in the service of your pump, it is helpful if you have the serial number and model number of your pump. It is recommended that you use the Warner Toolkit when servicing your pump. In this video, the four main sections of the hydrocell pump will be referred to as the manifold, the valve plate, the cylinder housing, and the pump housing. The manifold and valve plate are referred to as the fluid end of the pump and contains the valve assemblies and the diaphragms. The cylinder housing and the pump housing are referred to as the hydraulic end of the pump and contain the cam assembly and the hydraulic cells. For general service of the diaphragms or valves of the hydrocell pump, only the manifold and valve plate will need to be removed. The hydraulic end, cylinder housing, and the pump housing will stay intact. In this video, we will show you how to service both the fluid end of the pump as well as the hydraulic end of the pump. Please note, the four bolts that screw through the back of the housing into the cylinder casting hold the casting over the hydraulic end of the pump. Do not remove them except when repairing the hydraulic end. There are two versions of the pump housing on the HG25 pumps. The bolt and nut version has bolts through the pump housing and nuts on the rear of the bolts. The second version is the threaded version in which the perimeter bolts are threaded into the pump housing. Most recent HG25 pumps are of the Kel cell version. The Kel cell is a feature of the hydrocell pumps that controls the position of the diaphragm and greatly reduces the possibility of diaphragm rupture due to improper inlet conditions. Kel cell fitted pumps have a K in the fifth digit of the model number. Note, never leave contaminated fluid in the hydraulic end of the pump as it will ruin the bearings and components in the hydraulic end. Now, let's get started.